वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड दिस इज राम एंड इट्स फिफ्टी सिक्स टूटोरियल ऑन चावा एफ एक्स एट इन दिस टूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू इम्प्लीमेंट अ पाई चार्ट इन ए चावा एफ एक्स एप्लीकेशन सो इन दिस टूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू इम्प्लीमेंट दिस एग्जाम्पल ऑफ वेरियस एक्सपेंडिचर्स इन अ परसेंटेज इनक्योर्ड इन अ पब्लिशिंग अ बुक सो दीज आर द एक्सपेंडिचर्स एंड This is the percentage cost of expenditures. So we are going to implement this in a pie chart. So let's begin with creating a new project. Say Java FX application and as this is tutorial. Fifty-six on pie chart. Finish. So this is the default program. I'm going to delete this. And this is where we fix it. Tutorial fifty six. on pie chart so next we are going to add the list of data in an observable list so these are the data we are going to add in a observable list so to do that i am going to create one private final observable list of type pie chart dot data and the details equals to fx collection dot observable array list is the import for observable list next we are going to add this list into so observable list detail dot and all and the details are same new pie chart dot data see first is printing printing cost so and the corresponding value is 20 so similarly we are going to add remaining details
so next one is paper cost and that is 25 next one is binding cost third is promotion cost then transportation cost and last royalty cost and the corresponding values as binding cost 30% Promotion cost 10%, transportation cost 10%, and last royalty cost is 15%. So, these are the details which we have added in the pie chart observable list. So, next we are going to create a scene so private border pin say root fix the import for border pin Order pin and we are going to create a scene say scene equals to new scene of root and say so dimension 600 by 500 Next we are going to create a pie chart and we are going to add that observable list details into a pie chart. So pie web pie chart say pie chart equals to new pie chart and now we are going to add that data using pie chart dot set data and add observable list details so next we are going to set the title for pie chart so pie chart dot set title so we are designing a pie chart for various expenditures in percentage publishing a book next you are going to set the legend side so legend side will be so it, in legend side will show you the box which contains all these list of 
expenditures with the, their color so pie chart dot set region side and see it is on bottom then pie chart dot set labels visible and say true so we are going to show the labels of the different regions in the pie chart using set labels visible now we are going to add this pie chart into a layout so root dot set center and add the pie chart in a center so pie chart now we have done with the pie chart so initially we have declared an observable list in the observable list we have added all the details regarding the expenditures in publishing a book then we have declared a pie chart and in the pie chart we have added that observable list so save this and execute so this is the pie chart which we have created with the example of expenditures in publishing a book so these are the labels we which we are talking about and we have set this visible and this is the legion which contains a list of expenditures with their color so and by default this pie chart will be in a clockwise direction so printing cost will be started from a zero degree on a x axis after x axis in a clockwise direction so printing cost paper cost binding cost promotion cost transportation cost and royalty cost there are two more features we can add about the pie chart that are we can set the direction that is in clockwise or anti clockwise and we can add an angle to the pie chart so if we want a pie chart to be start after 90 degree or we can say after minus 90 degree so let's i will show that too so pie chart dot set clockwise as it is a default clockwise so we are going to set as false so it will be anti clockwise now save this and run so we can observe that the printing cost is on the above x axis so it's starting in a anti clockwise direction so printing cost paper cost binding cost promotion cost transportation cost and royalty similarly we can add an angle to the pie chart so let's see how we can do that so i will disable this so it will be clockwise 
and see pie chart dot set start angle and say 90 degree so it will be on y axis it will start from a y axis so this is the 90 degree angle which we have given to a pie chart so initially it start from a 0 degree axis and when we added a 90 degree axis it start from a y axis and again it is in a clockwise direction printing cost paper cost because as we have disabled the clockwise anti clockwise direction so this is about the pie chart and how to implement a pie chart in a JavaFX application if you have any question about this tutorial ask me in a comment section or you can mail me on my email id that is alapuriram at gmail.com and finally if you found this video helpful please like share and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching this video see you in the next tutorial